I'm gonna show how to change out the trailer tail light from the original incandescent to an aftermarket LED unit. So first step is gonna be unbolting the old light here and taking it off. Okay, now that it's loose here, I'm gonna take off this front, or the lens cover here, and see if I can clip those wires a little farther in. Okay, so you can see, now that I got the lens off, those wires just come in and are screwed onto those copper plates, it looks like. Uh, so I'm just gonna clip them on the back here. You can see it's kind of nice. There's a little diagram, or not a diagram, but it just says that tail lights is the brown wire, stop and turn uh, is the yellow. Okay, so you can see I just clipped the wires on the back here. So the yellow is the stop and turn signal. This is the left side, driver side. So it's left turn signal and stop light. And then the, both of those brown wires are the tail light. There's just two of them because there's probably spliced in from another marker light and that's just running light because they're both going into the forks, uh, that fork on that lower copper, both brown wires. So it's just the yellow and the two browns that we got to splice together on the new light. And while we're at it, uh, might be good to try to sand this down a little bit and give it a fresh layer of black paint because we it's getting a little bit rusty painted and dry now. Looks much better. I just have these, a heat shrink kit and just a terminal crimp kit, both from Harbor Freight. Um, pretty cheap. Definitely would recommend it just for simple jobs like this. So next we're gonna strip these wires up and get this thing installed. Okay, as you can see here, I added a big heat shrink wrap over all the, the whole pigtail here, just to kind of protect this these wires here from the sun, because that's gonna be exposed. And then you put the heat shrink on over the crimp that you're gonna do next. And I did the yellow, which is the turn signal and brake light. And just use a little connector there. We're gonna pull that back over, heat shrink that on, and then move on to our brown wires. So now I'm 
gonna use one of these splicers to splice that into the brown wire. I know these aren't the best quality, uh, but it's just the best that I have right now until I can figure out a better method. And these connectors are nice and strong, so I wanted to do that at least for that main one there. So that's what we're gonna do next here. There we go. And just like that, all we have left is this ground wire, which I'm gonna bolt to the back of the bracket here. And I'm gonna probably wanna sand down a little bit of this frame here so it can get good contact. Here's just a close up of what I did. So here's the heat shrink. I kind of taped it up there, taped all the wires down there. And so then when I bolt it up, I'm gonna have everything go underneath. So then it's gonna look something like this when it's all done. And then all the wires will come out underneath. So you can see how it, there's these forks and how it slides in. So what you can do is you can go ahead and thread your bolts right now. And I can see, you can see you put the ground on that one. So then all we gotta do is drop it on here. I need two hands, but I'll show you. Okay, just like that. Now, all we gotta do is tighten it up. Okay, so it can kind of slide left and right, but I just have it so that it's flush against here, not too far in because there's this piece of frame here that it, we need to, this light to be able to see out of, but I didn't want it too far out so that it, if it gets hit, it breaks the whole thing off. So I think that's a nice clean spot to put it. So now all we gotta do is tighten them down one last time and then tidy up these wires. And then of course test everything. Here's a look at the before on the other side, the after. So that's pretty much it. All you're gonna do is repeat the process on the other side, passenger side, and test everything out, make sure it looks good. But other than that, this is done. <laughs>